This morning, the United States delivered a letter to UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon providing our latest assessment of chemical weapons use in Syria. We've requested that the UN fact-finding mission include the information in this letter in its ongoing investigation. Following a deliberative review, our intelligence community assesses with high confidence, given multiple independent streams of information, that the Assad regime has used chemical weapons, including the nerve agent sarin, on a small scale against the opposition on multiple occasions in the last year. Some we have been able to come to this conclusion through our own means, uh, but we also feel very strongly that it's important for the United Nations to be able to, to do its investigation on the ground inside Syria of any and all credible allegations. President Obama has made very clear that the use or transfer uh, of uh, chemical weapons is a red line. That red line has been crossed, and as a consequence, as you heard yesterday, the White House has announced uh, a, a change in our approach uh, such that the United States will increase and expand our assistance not only to the civilian opposition, but to the Supreme Military Council as well. We are expecting the other On the issue of uh, a no-fly zone, uh, we have been clear that uh, we're not excluding um, options, but at this stage no decision has been taken. Uh, and as my colleagues in, in Washington described at some length yesterday, that option has some downsides and limitations that uh, we are very well aware of and will factor into any decision. The rebels is not helpful. Are you concerned that that puts off?